Hello everyone. Today we have with us uh, my college friend and uh, junior uh, Surajyoti, and uh, recently he has cracked uh, Amazon as as a SD role, and uh, he has joined recently. So today he is here with us to share with us his intro experience for that. Hi Suro. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi Shashank. Great to meet you yeah. again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Same here. So we can yeah. start with the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it happened like uh, I. So since my college life, I uh, gave Amazon online test for about five, six times. And uh, I passed, like I'm sure I passed 100% in all of them, right? Because the Amazon question, online test questions are not that difficult. It, uh, those are of medium, medium difficulty. But on the sixth time after I graduated, have, have one year of experience almost, then I got a face-to-face -face interview call from my recruiter. So that has been a long part. And mm -hmm. uh, regarding my interviews, it was like standard process. Uh, like it happened to be like standard process. That is two rounds of coding. And then there was one round managerial and one round bar raiser. But what happened was uh, after two rounds of coding, you get filtered into some team, right? So after that, that team takes your managerial. So at first I was filtered into a team at Bangalore. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I gave my managerial. It was quite good. After that, uh, after like three, four days, I got a call from my recruiter that they're transferring me to another team since there mm -hmm. was very requirement in that. So Amazon Lab 126, a uh, team of connectivity services at Mumbai. So mm -hmm. over there, I again needed to uh, give another round of managerial. Right. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, I, there was standard bar desert and yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, it was standard Amazon process only. Only thing was I needed to give one more manager here. So mm -hmm. yeah, that has been and five extra online rooms. Ah, hard. Right. <laughs> that is also yeah. there. So yeah, people should know that like they feel disheartened if they fail one or two times, but uh, it's luck is involved. So sometimes so they might have requirement or someone else might have filled the uh, position. So it depends. So we have to try at least 10, 20, 30 times uh, before we know what the actual problem is. Right. Uh, I totally agree with that. The main thing is of uh, to have your confidence, first thing. And second thing, to be persistent. Like mm -hmm. interviews are not, not like, they're not like exams that judge you steadily. There are There is a lot of luck involved they might not take they might have taken another uh another individual for that and there are a lot of external factors involved so the so in order to for you to get lucky is to spam spam mm. everywhere try to apply mm. everywhere uh give interviews everywhere some point of time you will be lucky so shouldn't have expectation like we're applying on four jobs and then we give uh very successful interview on all those four jobs and in the next morning you wake up and see interview of uh, offers uh, job offers coming from all those four things no it doesn't you should set your expectation according to that right and since you're talking about luck and spam right so i wanted to give a heads up like it's possible amazon interviews online test link or test interview invites might go to email spam so it has happened with me several times and uh, if you are uh, not constantly checking it's a bad luck it would have expired so in that case, you can still maybe try to reach out to the recruiter saying, can you send the test again or try to open that uh, testing and see if it is still there. Right. So, yeah, it even happened to me a couple of times. So uh, since you are in need of the job offer, uh, we are in need of the job offer. I'll still suggest the, to whenever you are checking your primary emails, also do check the spam. We can go with some uh, FAQs like uh, how was the difficulty of the online round? Like, is it uh, yeah. did uh, as you give multiple rounds, was it like uh, increasing every uh, time difficulty or is it same difficulty? How was it? So, regarding the online rounds, uh, all the online rounds that I gave, they were of similar difficulty. They asked very standard questions. Like, almost all of them had a question on graph, the second question, and the first question was of very standard like link list or arrays some binary search need to be involved something like that so there are pretty standard questions right and mm -hmm. after that the, uh, in the online round also there are a few mcqs and stuff that uh, needs your uh, 
normal computer science knowledge is involved. So uh, regarding online rounds, if you are like well versed with standard questions, uh, it would be a piece of cake to pass with 100%. After the online round, the thing is, uh, so there will be your, your uh, first round and second round of technical interview, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it, it isn't like if you pass, you need to pass first round to uh, give your second round. Two rounds will ha happen anyway. After that, you will be judged whether you are, you should be promoted to managerial round or not, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll suggest even if first round doesn't go too too good, uh, you uh, don't be hopeless. Uh, you can always uh, like totally smash your second round. Like it, it can go very well, and you can still get promoted to managerial round. Yeah, mm -hmm. one thing is that. And regarding the questions in the uh, first round and second round, mm -hmm. so Amazon has pretty standard set of questions uh, that the interviews ask. Uh, if so, mm -hmm. there are some interviews. So I'll suggest like as the uh, level of interviews increase, like if the interviewer is HDC or something like that, right? Uh, he won't he won't have time uh, too much to. Uh, provide the candidate with some new set of questions that needs new set of thinking. He will probably ask questions that he has faced while he was interviewing as an SD1, right? Mm -hmm. So well, he or she will probably ask the same set of questions. And by this time, like, like it has been almost four or five years that he has been an SD. So by this time, it would be already generalized. Like mm -hmm. you will obviously heard, would have heard that question some at some day or you can easily solve that question if you start mm -hmm. thinking but if mm -hmm. he is of lower level like sd1 or maybe sd2s then there can be an opportunity like he might be well versed with new questions and give a new question themselves in that case mm -hmm. so if, uh, like in that case is a similar thing you need to mm -hmm. you need to have your concepts clear you need to have your basics clear if that mm -hmm. uh, if you have your basics clear you can uh, easily crack through interviews by only thinking at that instant. Right. So don't yeah, maybe like SD1 freshers. Anything. Right. Yeah. So maybe yeah. like SD1 freshers, especially they might be used to doing competitive programming a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So they would have probably struggled to solve a problem in code forces the other night and mm -hmm. might have asked just to see how whether he can solve a lot of these things. But uh, that's mm -hmm. like very rare. And if at all that happens, yeah. they, they'll have the accordingly expectation also, like how close we're to get a solution. So even if it is very hard, we should just try, try to give at least a brute force or slightly more optimal and uh, show that we are able to solve to some extent. Yeah, that is also true. Like if it is some question that uh, that requires a specific type of pattern. So there are some questions that requires a specific pattern of type of pattern. If you don't know that pattern, you won't be able to solve that question. So in those cases, the interviewers already know it and mm -hmm. they they try to help you, try to work you through the solution. Mm -hmm. It's just that, that you need to have a good communication with him, uh, speak out loud your thinking process. Okay. So the mm -hmm. interviewer also checks like with like if he gets recruited, whether he would be uh, able to work along with that person as a team, right? So that mm -hmm. also thing. Uh, uh, he checks. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I would suggest good communication is also a very key aspect other than your technical knowledge to pass the interviews. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, huh, uh, there, there is my, uh, there goes my technical interview. After mm -hmm. that came the hardest part, right? So, uh, if you, if you know about Amazon, it, uh, very much where it focuses a lot on the behavioral question, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, my recruiter told that there would be no behavioral question until managerial, but in so I didn't prepare that much for behavioral. But right mm -hmm. on the first round of interview itself, I was asked and I couldn't perform well on that part, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did is before the next interview, so preparing of technical interview is fine. You already know the concept. You just go through some recent experience and it's done. But preparing for behavioral is tough because mm -hmm. you need to give instances from your career, mm -hmm. like at what uh, like what question would like uh, a part of my career 
which would satisfy the answer of this question right mm -hmm. so you need to prepare those beforehand so what i did was i created an excel sheet of all the possible and common behavioral question that are asked as an sd1 right it consisted about uh, about 15 to 20 questions total but also many of them were repetitive like it focused on the same uh, principles and stuff so uh, yeah the main part was uh, it took me a uh, like two three days to recall all the parts okay what if in this question what instance do i give right so i would suggest if you are interviewing from amazon face to face i'd suggest before any interview happen you take two to three days and prepare your entire behavioral sheet mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. like you pre-rehearse every behavioral question you find so that whenever they ask you don't need to think and stuff you just answer it right so right. that is very, very important so as much as they focus on the technical knowledge they will focus the same on the behavioral like they want to know whether you are a good fit for the company that is very important so right. yeah so uh, like uh, this is a pretty, little bit common and we can say like uh, we'll be expecting some round as a recruiter would have said but the interviewer uh, has wants to take some other round like behavioral instead of technical or as well. and uh, so, like several times there will be cancellations also right like it may be postponed getting postponed yeah. several times yeah right yeah so cancellation is also very common in my mm -hmm. technical rounds itself uh like there has been about two to three weeks delay be between my first round and second round because mm -hmm. it got my second round got cancelled repetitively like every mm -hmm. week that every week at least one to two times the recruiter will set an interview and then it will get cancelled because the interviewer mm -hmm. is not available or maybe busy with some pri uh, high priority work so mm -hmm. yeah that is also there at those times you often lose your patience because you have prepared and then uh, there is no interview right so mm -hmm. the main thing is about keeping your patience persisting staying com confident so mm -hmm. that things would always be there never lose hope i suggest yeah. Yeah. okay so regarding the final uh, round like hr uh, discussion and uh, for part like how it how it different so after that the uh, manager managerial are often very smooth they just test you about what work you have done about the projects and stuff those are very smooth and uh, it often involves a healthy discussion you can also uh, ask what work is currently going on uh, so that you get a fair fair knowledge of the team that you are going to be recruited in and then after that there is also bar razor right so bar razors what i what i think is also smooth because those are some seasoned interviewers there has they have to complete a lot of interviews to be eligible as an interviewer for bar razor so those are also pretty smooth and after that like after uh, one week or a couple of weeks you will get the offer right so while getting the offer do keep a check on the latest offers that are being provided by the companies right uh, so the compensation they are getting and stuff so that you don't get low ball right um, like it else will always try to get you low ball but you need to keep a check so that right. it doesn't happen with you yeah these are the basic tips that you need for any mnc i'd suggest okay so how was your uh, uh, onboarding process and uh joining how's the work going on what mm -hmm. experience? so i onboarded from virtually right so yeah it was pretty smooth uh, my manager uh, helped me uh, to smoothen up the process a lot and while onboarding Amazon, there are there are a set of things that you need to do for two, three weeks or so, right? But for me, it was like while onboarding only on the second week only, I, I was uh, assigned with some work, right? So okay. that was also there. It helped me quick. It was a bit difficult at in the beginning, but it helped me quickly to get along with the team. It also... Mm -hmm feels good when everyone in the stand-up is giving some updates and you don't have any other yeah. than onboarding so uh, once you start working it also feels good to be a part yeah. of the team so what would you suggest uh, be acquiring people like uh, how can they uh, ask proper questions during interview or afterwards so that they know that they'll be a good fit uh, in that team or in that organization 
so i'll i'll suggest like uh so manager plays a very important role right because mm -hmm. that is the manager that will manage you after you get hired so while mm -hmm. communicating only uh you need to first find out whether uh like whether do you want him as a manager like how good it would be okay so mm -hmm. the through the manager you get a fair view of the how the team works so you can ask him about what the primary work is going on like what product is they mainly focusing on a uh, little bit of yeah. overview after that the tech stack there uh the tech stack uh, that is primarily being used and then uh, you can also ask about the team how many people mm -hmm. are there so you can ask always ask the manager and get a fair overview of the team the people over there what are they focusing on so in this way you can know more about the team even after yeah. that you can connect people on ms uh, linkedin uh, who are on the same team and get a much better overview right so yeah, yeah. Those. Yeah, so sometimes I've seen where uh, people have come multiple offers and uh, money is not the only thing now. Like uh, they have good offers, but they want to know more about uh, the culture fit. So what all comes under culture fit? Like as you told, like uh, team size, the how day-to-day -day work goes, team as uh, all this. So maybe the, that time they can uh, actually ask the recruiter if they can contact the, have a discussion with their uh, manager who is going to be their manager. Because sometimes interviews may not be taken by the actual manager, but some other person. So they can have that uh, discussion and clarify uh, whether they'll be a good fit. Right. So as as being a job applicant, it all, is always your right to know about the team you are being recruited in. You can ask as many questions because ultimately you will be at the part of that team. Like the way that you are getting interviewed whether you will be fit for the team you also need to know about the team whether you can adapt to that right so it okay. is always a part for you always a thing and yeah you can always uh talk to those people who are on that team talk to the recruiter to get a fair overview and decide right so for pressure i will suggest the main priority so money is always an option so you need to see you are getting paid according to industry standards but don't don't just go by the pay so if some even if some uh, company is paying one two lakhs just uh one two lakhs more but you see the work is not that good don't go to that All, mm -hmm. also like as much as you are we are focusing on the pay we must also focus on the work that is getting done the culture of the yeah. team because yeah, as a pressure it would yeah as a pressure yeah. it would help us grow very much mm -hmm. right so, right yeah okay uh, i think that's all we have to plan for this session anything else you want to add to Sam? yeah uh no nothing as such just uh mm -hmm. keep up the confidence be persistent spam in in all interview irrespective of it being a startup or anything even if you don't want to go you will at least have an experience right mm -hmm. You'll always have the confidence so experience does matter in at all stages so right. yeah okay then. uh thank you Suro, for being with us yeah sure sure thank you so much it has been a pleasure thank right. you bye okay bye bye